The appeal comes after the High Court ruling by Justice Thomas Masuku granted the interim interdict by Maria Ukamba Haindaka, who had been nominated for the position of Hompa along with Munjembwe Kanyetum. The key issue in this case is whether the Minister of Urban and Rural Development acted properly in approving the designation of Kanyetu as chief in consideration of an earlier ruling by the Deputy Judge President Hosea Angula, which set aside the minister's earlier decision and referred the matter back to him for further consideration. Ukamba Haindaka, represented by advocate to Hafeni Muhongo instructed by Apollos Shimakeleni, argued that the minister's actions were unlawful and raises concerns about the rituals and traditions associated with the coronation ceremony of a hompa. Haindaka argued that this should only be undergone by a person who is eventually unrivaled. She further argued that the designation of Munjembwe Kanyetu, whose eligibility has been questioned, would be illegal and not in power of the minister to choose sides or choose one of the candidates. Dr. Saki Akwenda, on behalf of the state, however, argued that the Traditional Authorities Act gives the minister some discretion to approve an application for chieftainship, provided such application meets the requirements and properly instituted. Akwenda also stated that the matter is not only a customary law one, but legislative in nature. He thus submitted that the High Court misdirected itself and that take two. He thus submitted that the High Court misdirected itself and thus its decision should fall aside. The outcome of this appeal is expected to have significant implications for the traditional leadership in Namibia, as well as the rights and interests of the parties involved. Daniel Nadunyan, BC News, Supreme Court, Vanthook.